In 1839, 53 illegally purchased African slaves being transported from Cuba aboard the Spanish built schooner uh, Amistad stage a successful dash. They were dashed by an American brig off the coast of Long Island and thrown in jail. Okay, so basically something happened with. Okay, so what the statement says is. In 1839, 53 illegally purchased African slaves. Okay, 53 illegally purchased African slaves. Where were they being transported to? They were being transferred, transported from Cuba. Uh, and they were in what? They were in uh, Spanish built schooler. Schooler is nothing but a, a type of a boat. Okay, so uh, which has two um, masts or something. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's just a boat just remember that okay Amistad staged a successful dash okay so it's it has to be a positive word it has to be something a victory okay so it has to be something like that okay uh, they were dashed by an American brig off the coast of Long Island and thrown in jail okay so American brig off the coast is another type of ship okay so another ship we are talking about off the coast of Long Island and thrown into jail. Okay, so they were, this is how they were caught. Okay, so we are looking for a word which says, okay, <clears throat> schooler, like I said, schooler is what? Schooler is nothing but uh, a type of uh, sailing vessel. Okay, and what is the meaning of Let's start with renunciation. I think renunciation, you already know, it is to abolish any official title or any sort of thing. So that's not what he did here. So first one is forget about it. Okay, don't look at the next option. Just forget about it. Renunciation is nothing to do with this. Successful renunciation, that means he abolished his title. That's not what uh, he did. Insurrection. Uh, will it be insurrection? What is the meaning of insurrection? It means uh, a violent, it is also sort of a mutiny, okay, a violent uprising, 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 so th these three can fit in, okay, so we have mutiny, uprising and insurrection, okay, these three, let's keep it. And what is the meaning of coronation? Coronation is just a ceremony where uh, the queen or the king or, the, or, or a sovereign is crowned. Okay, that's the meaning of co coronation. So coronation is definitely not the answer over here. So we will also strike out option D. Okay, so what do we have left? What are we left with? We are left with insurrection and consorted, mutiny and intercepted uprising and coaxed okay now let's uh, look at the meaning of which one which one which one uh, let's look at the meaning of uh, let's start with the first option uh, insurrection and consorted what is the meaning of consorted anyone i think you must be knowing the meaning of consorted it, it is nothing important. That's why you do not know the meaning of consorted. Uh, it just means a, a ship in company of another. Okay, so the, uh, it just talks about two ships being together. That's all. That is consortment. Okay, so this is also not the answer. Now, let's look at what do we have next? Mutiny and intercepted. Mutiny is an open rebellion, as you know. against the authorities okay and what is the meaning of intercepted obstruct okay so we are looking for obstruct from probably reaching the destination or something like that what is the meaning of coaxed coaxed is gently persuade someone
to do something. Okay, so that is the meaning of coke. So we and we are not talking about uh, they were sent, to, they were thrown in jail. So this is not gentle way of talking. So we, uh, E is also not the right answer. We are only left with C and C should be the right answer. When the review criticized the movie for its plot, for its dash plot, we agreed we had seen similar stories hundreds of times before. So you have to fill in the gap over here with un either of these options. Uh, unconventional, hackneyed, platitudinous and imaginative, platitudinous, okay? So what do these words mean? Let's just quickly go to the definition of these words and then we will see which one fits best, okay? So what is unconventional? Unconventional is something that is not something that is uh, generally done, okay? So something that is... Uh, conventional is something that is generally uh, done or generally accepted or something like that. Uh, what is the meaning of unconventional? It means not based on or okay, not based on what is generally done or believed all right that's the meaning of unconventional let's look at hackneyed what is the meaning of hackneyed again i think this word we have discussed it a lot of times it means having something that is overused okay so having been over used Okay, so worn out is the meaning. And platitudinous also means the same thing. It also means used too often. And a uh, synonym could be hackneyed. Okay, so these uh, B and C are very similar words. Imaginative, I'm sure you all understand what is the meaning of imaginative. Imaginative is anything uh, that comes up with the imagination. Okay, so. Uh, we have unconventional, which I do not think will fit over here. When the review board criticized the movie for its dash plot. So what kind of plot are we talking about? We are talking about a plot that is that we have seen very often. That is something that has been in our system and that has been uh, used very often. And the same sort of script, the same sort of uh, melodrama that we have all already seen. So the two words that should be used are, are hackneyed and platitudinous so B and C would be the right answer okay because the later half after the semicolon it says we had seen similar stories hundreds of times before okay we agreed why did we agree because we have seen similar stories many times before and thus it states that it has been overly used or um, overly used yes lack of dash is basic to good teamwork but our ability to work with others depends on our dash depends on our ability to work with others ability to work with others that's your clue so what is the one word for it depends on our what depends on on our compatibility uh, depends on our motivation depends on our vulnerability depends on our flexibility depends on our acumen what is the meaning of acumen um it's just the ability to make good decisions okay it's a noun lack of dash is basic to good teamwork so we are looking for lack of something is ba is basic for or uh, to uh, good teamwork if there is lack of this then there will be good teamwork but our ability to work with others so what are we looking for over here yes the first blank has to be a negative word okay what is the meaning of dogmatism what is the meaning of dogma okay a dogmatism is the uh it's a, a tendency to lay down wait let me write it down 
principles and expect people to follow it religiously something that is uh, that has to be followed undeniably true without even consideration of any uh, anyone else or any evidence just says this is true and this is true okay that is dogmatism so which one is the right uh, answer is it lack of rigidity is basic to uh, good teamwork if you have lack of that then it is basic to good teamwork okay so that means if you have lack of rigidity it is basic to good teamwork okay if you have lack of dogmatism then it is basic to good teamwork so which one is the right answer um, we are looking for ability to work with other depends on compatibility yes it does not depend on motivation it does it depends on compatibility so if you look at the uh, second option compatibility suits better right so uh, sorry uh, compatibility suits better so that's why the first option will be rigidity so if you're not rigidity uh, if you're not rigid if you're not rigid then it is good for teamwork okay uh, where you can work with others you are flexible that's what it says okay so that is good for uh, teamwork but ability to work with others depends on how compatible you are with others okay how well you gel with pe uh, people and so on and so forth that's the meaning of the word